My neighbor is a vampire. My parents think I watch too many horror movies. But I'm not joking. My neighbor is a vampire. Tonight is Halloween, and I'm afraid my neighbor will suck the blood out of the young trick-or-treaters who'll knock on his door. I must do something. I need someone strong and powerful to help me. The only kid I can think of is Rocco. But he's the school bully, and he hates my guts. I don't like him either. Plus, I think he's stupid. Well, I gotta go. I better give Rocco a call. Now, where did I put his number? Yeah, hello? Hello. May I please speak to Rocco? No, he's not here. He's probably beating up some nerds. Yes, that's what Rocco usually does. Trust me, I know. Thanks. Okay, that means Rocco might be bullying kids at the library. Or maybe he's at the park. He likes to pick on kids there too. There's also a chance he's at the Happy Cone. He loves their pink ice cream. Photo of me. A silver dollar. Look at me, my name is Walter and I have a magic box. You're such a dork. Tell it to your pocket protector, you dweeb. Hey, Rocco. What's up, man? Aren't you the kid I beat up three weeks ago? What do you want? No, but I sure could use your bullying skills. Bring me ice cream and then I'll listen to your jabbering. Someone left his ID card. Oh no, it's sticky goo. And now I've got it all over my hand. Here's my ID. That seems legit. Have fun, Mrs. Parker. Oh, thank you. I've won! I've won! Here is ten dollars. Bring me your cheapest ice cream. Yes, sir. I've collected enough sunlight to last for days. I'll see you later, Michael. If you wish to learn more about the miracles of science, come to my lab. Here, I brought you ice cream. Very good. Now, what do you want from me? My neighbor. He's a vampire. I need you to come with me to kick his ass. A vampire? I never thought that all these beatings would actually cause you brain damage. But what do you know? I'm serious. Are you with me? Yeah, sure. I'll kick this bloodsucker's butt. But you must bring me boxing gloves first. I'll need it to beat the vampire. Cool. Thanks. Michael! My calculations tell me you're here to learn about the miracles of science! Not really. So, you want to try my magical box? Click on the right buttons to turn it on. Great! You did it! As a reward, I'll give you my sunlight box. Your sunlight box? But it's just a cardboard box. It's a prototype. I'll give you matches, too, just in case the box won't work.
The fire alarm! I gotta get out of here! Oh no, a power failure. Stay where you are, you little prick. Yoink. Yoink. I'll return the gloves later, somehow. Here are your brand new boxing gloves. Great. So, where does this vampire of yours live? 2311 Oak Street. I'll meet you there tonight. We'll pretend we're trick-or-treating. Come in. The door is open. Hello. Trick-or-treat. And now that you're inside, the door is locked. <laughs> and in case you couldn't tell, I'm a real vampire. And I'm going to kill you both. We know who you are. Rocco here will kick your butt. Oh, really? Is that so? <laughs> That's it. Your friend is useless now. Useless! <laughs> here goes nothing. What's up, guys? Michael and Rocco here with an update. After we killed the vampire from 2311 Oak Street, we decided to form the Monster Squad. I wanted to name us the Monster Slayers, but Michael said it's too violent. Anyway, I decided to stop picking on nerds and channel my aggression towards monsters and demons. And we've just received our first phone call from Walter. He said his grandma's house is haunted. Yeah, so we're gonna go check it out. Make sure to hit that subscribe button below. And we will see you guys soon.